everybody, this is Andrea, and it is my week to be your um, run, leader, inspire, whatever. Um, so for this week, um, for the workout, um, I've been talking this week with some run friends, and we've been talking a lot about balance. And I think balance is important, not just mentally. I mean, I think we could all use that a lot right now, but um, we talk about it as runners. We focus so much on, you know, things like speed and pace and stretching and foam rolling. But uh, a lot of times we don't think about how important balance is and how much it can help prevent injury. So um, I had some friends challenge me um, to kind of do some balance strength training exercises. And I hate strength training. It's my one thing that I always hesitate to do. So I am challenging you to do some strength workouts. And um, like you can Google it and kind of find some. Um, the ones that I've been doing that are really sucky and hard, but you know, that's probably why I need to do them, is the one-legged squats. They suck, but I'm like, okay, I know these are going to be doing me good. Um, there's some other ones out there, like um, this is one that I think would be totally fun to see some people try to do, is try putting your run sock and run shoe on on one foot and not touching the ground. And uh, it's kind of fun, and um, I'd love to see if some people are able to do it. Um, but it also is like a good gauge to kind of see where your strength is. As runners, we should be able to do that and balance well if our we have those muscles in place. So that's the first one, balance. The second one is I'm challenging people to write their run workout plan down. And some of you already do this because you get your plan. But there is something about writing something down each week that cements it into your mind to get it done. And I know a lot of us are struggling right now um, with kind of making sure that we get things done consistently and sticking to our plans. And um, for me, I actually I have mine. So I'm a bullet journaler. If you don't know what a bullet journal is, it's basically sort of like a calendar and a, a way to keep things track. Um, for example, I have a bullet journal. This is my whole training plan. So I'll actually keep that. And um, But if you actually keep the um, by the week, so I actually have my calendar for the week and I have my runs all journaled in here at the bottom. And so then you kind of know what you already have going on for the week. And I can kind of see if there's other things like, oh, I know I have a meeting that day, so I probably have to be done with my morning workout fast. But I also, every evening, I go in, I'm like, what's the plan for tomorrow? And so I already commit myself to that. So I know, okay, I'm gonna have to get up really early because I have to run six miles in the morning. Or, oh, I only have three, maybe I can fit it in at lunch. But I'm challenging everybody to write it down. It could be in your calendar, um, write it um, on, you know, put something, I'm a big post-it person. So um, write it down and put it somewhere where you're gonna look at it and see it and see if it helps you kind of commit to those goals. Um, and I'd love to see what you come up with. I'll post some of mine because I love color and pens and post-its too. So I have some kind of pretty ideas. Um, the other thing is for inspiration. And I know we've seen a lot of posts this week about how people are really kind of feeling the, you know, COVID fatigue, if you want to call it, um, the combination of the weather, the stress of everything going on. So for me, we were talking about kind of the doom scrolling where you go through and you're just seeing all this negative stuff on Facebook. So um, in my family, we've been talking about no doom scrolling. Um, and we're like, oh, I don't want to see all the cute dogs. So I like to see cute animals. Today on my run, I saw eight dogs and it totally made my morning. So I am challenging you, one, to try not to doom scroll. And, but two, I want to see your furry friends. So I love Sarah's hedgehog and I could watch videos of him all day. And I have dogs, so I like my phone is filled with pictures of my dogs. But I'm challenging everybody, post some of your furry friends or maybe ones you see on your run. Post them on here so we can some, have some fun and happy stuff to look at. Um, so have a good week. I hope to see lots of creative write down your runs and see lots of fun furry friends.